Hey everyone, Don and Ash here. Hello. Back for another reaction video. This time we're going to be checking out a new champion that Riot just released. Um, that is none other than Milio the Gentle Flame. We're going to be checking out, they released a trailer actually just earlier today, a couple hours ago. Um, they released a champion theme uh, yeah. before the trailer. That's a bit odd, but we have an art theme for him, so we're going to be checking that out. And Skin Spotlights came out with uh, the voice lines earlier today, so we're also going to be checking those out. Yeah, man, I am so excited. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, uh, they skin like skin spotlights had a small, uh, little teaser for him. And, you know, based on just the little thumbnail, it's just like this little flame thing. So I don't know what to expect, but I'm excited. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think of like, sorry, I'm just trying to like think in my head what Milio could be or, or stuff, whatever. Um, I'm excited. Obviously I expect maybe he's got, you know, a firepower or something to that extent. Um, but yeah, let's hop in. All right, let's go. Yesterday, I helped fight a giant with a thousand eyes and huge pointy teeth. Oh! <laughs> but whoosh. Woo! My fire looked so scary, it rushed off into the jungle, never to be seen again. Pretty amazing, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, you're so brave, Milio. Tell us more. Fine, but <laughs> oh my god. The one I in the middle. <laughs> so many new things since leaving my village. <laughs> won't believe this, but I battled a green monster too. It had six, no, eight legs and massive claws. Bigger than the trees. Oh my I God. learned to heal a lot of people at once. Way more than I did at home. Wow, that sounds cool. cool. Yeah, so he's a support player. <laughs> After I get it once, it's easy. Wherever I go, I try to make new friends. And it always works. Yeah! Eventually. <laughs> I know it's surprising, but fire doesn't have to hurt. It's nice to help people see it differently. That's great training to get stronger, too. Yeah, exactly. Hey, we think a lot of life. <laughs> My family is gonna Oh, he like pulled them back or pulled her back They're or something. Probably waiting yeah. for my next letter. I wish they were here right now. They are here right now. And remember, we're gonna make them so proud. Was the so hot? <laughs> <laughs> Fire doesn't have to hurt, remember? This is true, he told us this. <laughs> Ooh, I'm sleepy. I bet they have comfy beds in Ishao Khan. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Uh, no, just seems like a really happy, jolly, wholesome character. Yeah. Um, you know, quite young. <laughs> I feel like the way he carries the fire is really unique. Yeah. Or it's just interesting. It's cool. Yeah. Um, but I'm surprised they came up with his voice lines so quick. Um, yeah. Let's definitely hop into those. Um, can't wait to see what he has to say. Yeah. I feel I... like I feel like he's a character who's not cocky. You know. I, I mean. Obviously, not cocky, <laughs> not not boastful, just like really wholesome and um, kind of reminds me of like a, like a main Disney character or something. Something that just puts like a smile on definitely, your face. Definitely, <laughs> definitely, yes, yeah. He's, he, I feel like he's um, maybe same a little bit of like same vibes as Lilia, just you know, like bright eyed, uh, hopeful of the world. Seems like he's really fun in that regard, a little bit carefree and yeah. uh, like like he's kind of set already. He just wants to like heal and show like fire can be used for good other than <laughs> being hurtful <laughs> yeah well let's get in these voice lines see what he has to say yes are you okay little mummy do you need a hug <laughs> so many of the voice lines start with a moo now true oh what a cute stuffed bear what's his name oh Timber? my gosh who are these little buddies <gasps> meeps so cute <laughs> brand does your fire heal too or is it just for style? He's like, burn! Slow down. My omele always says not to run with scissors. <laughs> yeah, listen to your oh, omelet. Am I going to be as big as you one day, Cassante? I can't wait. So many dogs. Which one's like Snuggles the most, Nefiri? <laughs> Nico! Koom Sehena. Oh, did I say that right? Nidali! Can I play with the Pekiti again soon? Please? <laughs> you have a big friend too, Nunu? Wonder if I could teach mine to walk. Oh my gosh, Kiana! You're so short in person! <laughs> hey, Big Dagger Cat! 
My hunting's gotten a lot better. Wanna see? <laughs> Book kitty! So cute. Must pet. <laughs> no minute, right about the scissors. Nafiri, who's a good puppy? You're a good puppy. We'll always be friends, right, Nico? You don't have to go easy on me, Nidali. I can take it. Sorry, Kiyana. Please, please don't hate me. How dare you call me short? Getting better, big dagger cat. This will be really good practice for when I face the Vidalian. Hey, I'm Milio, and these are my four amigos. Nice to meet you. Hi, how do I spell your name? For when I write home later. Nah, I don't know what four amigos translates into, like, specifically, but I'm like, fire friends? Fire friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I bet you're pretty strong, huh? This is so exciting. I just know we're going to be best friends after this. Aw, oh, come back. We were having so much fun. <laughs> Are you okay? Do you need help? I can help. Fire is supposed to be the breath of life, not the end of it. I'm just warming up. Get it? N no. <laughs> what would my Omele think? Whoa, you're so strong, Emilio. Yeah, I work out. <laughs> Is this what the Vidalian's gonna be like? <laughs> Should be pretty easy. Too hot to candle. Uh. You're welcome. And I helped. We did it. Yeah. Go team. Whoa, is that a dragon? Wanna see a neat trick? Whoop! <laughs> I don't get it. I'm pretty strong. I've been training, like, all day. <laughs> Wait, let me write that down real quick. My Fuemigos aren't just cute. They're also helpful. Just wait, I'll show you guys. Burn, you burn. guys all look so strong. You can count on me, though. I got this. This is so cool. My next letter home is gonna be legendary. Tomasin will be so jealous. Come on, Flamigos. We got a lot of work to do. Let's start Ooh, over here. Ooh, Kiana! Once I'm in the Yuntal, can we hang out like this all the time? He's like, no. The jungle isn't as creepy as it looks. My family is gonna be so surprised by all the things I've done. I can't wait to tell them. The light inside us, our inner flame, that's the heart of my fire. When I'm in the Yuntal, I'm gonna go back home and help my entire village. Leaving home, joining the Yuntal, it's all for my family. I'm gonna be the youngest kid to ever join the Yuntal. Pretty amazing. My Omele always says, the sheep that sleeps gets carried by the current. Wait. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> and then Cousin Javi was like, you're just a baby. I'm 12. Do I look like a baby to you? Elemental magic is easy. You just got to think about it. And then, bam, fire. I've seen so many new things. Met so many new people. Like that plant lady. And that one rock. And that big cat. <laughs> My tornacita isn't as heavy as it looks. I built it myself. So... The last three heroes she was talking about, uh, what's that Poison Ivy girl's name? We do know her name. Um, but then I think he was talking about Malphite, the Big Rock, and Rengar yeah. after that. Yeah. Um, oh, I forget the plant lady's name, but I know she is in the New Dawn. Um, yes. Ar Arya is the one that kind of puts a little orb through her chest or something like that. Yeah. Um, so we do know who he's talking about, I think. <laughs> I think we're right on that one. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it's such a cute and wholesome character so far. So far, yeah, honestly, so nice. <laughs> if I were back home, I'd be helping Mama cook. Or be feeding the animals with Papa. My Omele says joining the Yuntal will make my family happy. And she knows best. Right? <laughs> the omelette knows best. <laughs> Feels like the whole world is watching me. I gotta show them what I can do. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Let's Yo, head back, Fuemigos. It's break time. break time. I'll be right back, friends. Stay out of trouble, okay? Come on, Milio, let's take a break. Sigh. Fine, only because you're so cute. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here with me, Fuemigos. Let's head back to our secret base. Mama and Papa will never believe what happened to me today. You did what? Oh, you guys see that? That was amazing. You fought who? You okay, Milio? Yeah, all good. Let's go again. Even when I'm knocked down, my Fuemigos always have my back. 
gotta burn brighter. I, I burned my hair again. Mama's gonna be so mad. <laughs> Not burn your precious bright. curls. This should help. Lighten up. Catch. Here you go. Stop, drop, and roll. Score. I wasn't throwing a fireball at you. You're, You're just like, oh, hot potato. See ya. Woo. Bye bye. Ah, I meant to do that. Uh. <laughs> Oops. Everyone, come here. Friends, assemble. Over here. Let's go. I got you. Burn it up. Breath of life. Can't stop us now. Let's spark joy. My fire might look scary, but don't worry. It's totally safe. Totally. Even when I'm alone, I'm not place. lonely. <laughs> Did you see that, Puemigos? I carry my family with me. Fire burns, but it doesn't have to hurt. My family is my guiding light. There's fire in every living thing. I traveled through another village kind of like this. I'm gonna show the Vidalion what I'm made of. The world is so big. Good thing I like walking. Hey, Fuemigo, you okay back there? I wonder who else I'll meet today. You can do it, Milio. Thanks, Fuemigos. I bet Papa's in the garden right about now. Funny how he does both voices. I'm not homesick. I just really, really miss my bed. <sighs> Anyone else getting sleepy? A stain! Mama worked so hard on this poncho! Uh -oh. Did you say something, Fuemigo? This is the farthest I've ever been from home. I miss Mama's cooking. Gotta keep moving forward. My Omele. I hope she's proud of me. My Fernacita is the one light that will never go out. Your turn, Fuemigos! Whoosh! Don't mind me. Let's go, Fuemigos! <laughs> yeah! Check this out. Glow bright! Watch out! Pew pew pew! <laughs> Hi! Heat it up! Aha! Brighten up! This is so fun! <laughs> I'm all fired up! Look at me! Kapow! Can't put me out! Ooh, burn! <laughs> I just want to go home. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Omele. But I want to help my family. <laughs> that laugh at the end. Um, yeah, I can't. I'm always, I'm like, it's just stuck in my head that he's talking to his omelet now. Um, <laughs> Omele, like, it probably means grandma or something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's omelet from now and forever, forever. <laughs> um, yeah, he's a really wholesome character. He's he's different from a lot of the characters in League who yeah. have like a grudge or an you know axe to grind or something like that, right? Like they all have some sort of uh, you know, I guess just uh, they're really uh, I, I guess it, grudge is the right word for it. Yeah, they all hold yeah. a really hard grudge. There's like, I mean, they've got some. The kid's twelve. He doesn't have as much history as the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, no, he's he's a fun character, um, and a lot of his lines are just very fun and wholesome, and you know, carefree, like Ash said earlier. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just puts a smile on your face. Like even you know when you see a splash art on screen, he's just got like the biggest bubbly eyes. So yeah, uh, it definitely reminds me of um a uh Disney character, as I said before. So it's funny how he has like uh, a joke about the hair. Um, yeah, <laughs> and like when he said, "I carry my family on my back," my brain just immediately went like Doctor Mundo, dark humor. Where I'm like, uh, yeah. he's got like you know his mom's arm in his backpack and his dad's leg. My little and you, you look over at him, you're like, huh? And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> my like brain for a moment did that too, and yeah. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is too funny. Um, all right, well, let's get into champion theme and see, you know, what the artist decided to share with us. And, yes. um, you know, maybe it'll show us the direction that they, or like different directions that they took to end up on at the final design. Yeah. Um, and if he has any other elements that they drew him with, it would be really cool, even though he's fire-based. Yeah, and um, also I'm interested to see if they have or if they show um, other aged versions of him. Like, did they always think that they wanted something more along the lines of the child or were they kind of playing around with that age difference a bit cool well, 
Let's hop into it. See what they got for us. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely way more skinnier than the splash art that we just saw. Very cool to see some of his abilities sketched out. Oh, the different like, um, I forget what he calls it, but the holder for his fire. Yeah, it looks like it's like a gun in the middle one or something like that. Like something that like shoots fire. His hair is a lot different too. A lot of different takes on his hair. Like the whole character was much skinnier. It's almost like uh, in Arcane, the animation difference between like early dry and early powder and like the later renditions of them. Yeah, those are super cool to see. Gonna have back problems real quick. <laughs> cool. I can't remember if that's the final one in the uh, in the gameplay trailer that they used, but it's cool to see the animation and how they imagined it working. Yeah. I love the little fire buddies. Amigos. Yeah. Yeah, this is really, really cool to see. I love that it's like, obviously they did them light, as light. Oh cool, he's got like an ability that like bounces between enemies, that's dope. Oh, he's got a little buff on Teemo too. They're healing, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if, it's, if the main fire has to like regen the little ones and he gets to use three of them. I feel like that's how it works, rather than just having like unlimited little guys to throw around. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like that because you see in a couple of the drawings the little guys like siphoning off the big one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, there was a little funny one. A little angry face. Haha, <laughs> little evil face at the end. Yeah. They're so sick. Wow. I think that's really close to the final design, but he's still really skinny in this one. Um, maybe it's just because the clothing is not in like the shape of uh, like his his uh, stance, like his pose in the final that that splash art the voice line. Yeah. But yeah, look at that bob on his head. That is the biggest back thing ever. Like they went with like the biggest one they, they drew. <laughs> yeah. Not even, forget functionality, they're just like bigger. Those dudes' quads are tinier than a toothpick. What do you mean he's left <laughs> in that thing? Not a single squat in his life. Yeah, I feel like the cheeks just look a little bit more chubby in the splash right here. Like they like build build them out. Right? Especially there. They really like chubbify the cheeks and stuff like that. His little legs get a little chonkier and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Cool. That final splash art is super nice. Yeah. And I also love like you can see it out in the background there. Um, yeah, I'll bring it back up in just a second here. And then like accompanied, uh, I did notice like when we were listening to his voice lines, he did have or the first few kind of section that we got, they were primarily with other characters or champions, heroes from this area. <laughs> from this area, um, so it's cool to kind of piece together that he's also from Ishal. I think it would be the easiest to do at first, um, just as far as like his core voice lines until they like update them with like eight hundred more voice lines that they want to write for him. But yeah, it just it kind of makes sense that he would have uh, interactions with those immediately around him first. Yeah. Um, especially with like. Some of his voice lines talk about like meeting, um, you know, guess who I met today, or he's saying I like he met the rank or the big cat, 
uh, Big Dagger Cat, I think he calls Rengar at one point. Yes. Um, and two other heroes. I forget what he said the names for them were, but um, you guys will have to let us know if you like playing him. Uh, if he's an interesting character, the art was awesome. Um, I think that most of the art, you know, it's like they had a direction they were going with because most of the art, the body looks the, sh- the same. Yes. Uh, you know, a little bit skinnier. Um, and, uh, you know, they it seems they played around with the hairstyles a lot. It almost reminds me of, like, Mega Man, like, in this one on the right. Mega Man! Yeah. Mega Man! Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it reminds, reminds me of Mega Man. And then, um, you know, just with, like, the flared out boots and stuff like that, too. You just picture, like, Mega Man's little suit there. Totally. So, I feel like they played around more with the styling of his clothes and yes. his hair more than anything. But then, at the end, they seemed to make him a little bit more, like, like they truncated his body. Like, he seems, like, a little lankier in these. Yeah, I and agree. Then, and then the final version, he just seems, like, a little... A little shorter. A little shorter, a little chubbier, a little, a little chubbified, a little cute. And, uh, you know, disnified or, or, like, one of those little, like, the way, like, a... Like Pixar would draw any of their little youth kids. Yeah, yeah <laughs> so, definitely. Um, absolutely cool. I love how in these drawings they used a lot of um, the like the only color they used was the fire, and that's how they like lit up him in gray. Um, I thought that was really cool. Yeah, it was definitely one of my favorite things to see as well. Um, and it just like it just gives so much focus on the like, the ability itself and how the fire fire friends look. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love that we got to see this like storyboard section here of the healing ability, or what I'm gonna assume is the healing ability, um, or protection. So, something like that, some sort of friendly buff or support ability. Uh, and like you know, based on the way these were drawn. Oh, one part I want to bring up uh, is the little uh, fire guys' uh, faces. It seems like, like you saw it in the previous frame, it seems like you know they didn't know whether they wanted fire dudes to come off the one or if they wanted him to just have like a, a pile of them stuffed in there yeah um i think a like the left side is the more um uh easily translatable version or it, it makes more sense i guess um but I, yeah i want to know if he has <laughs> this screen right here i don't know if he has like just three three little fire dudes that he gets to regenerate over time right or, or not you guys have to let us know that uh everyone who's playing who's playing this character uh, these are hilarious. Uh, D is <laughs> D is probably <laughs> my, my favorite little angry dude. Uh, <laughs> a is like you know you bring your kid to work day and your kid like drew a, a drawing for you. <laughs> it's it's the drawing that's like on the fridge from when they were a kid. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, I love the amount of exploration that they did with these as well. Um, Look at these three in the bottom. <laughs> I know. I'm like I'm so partial to the rabbit one. I gotta say. <laughs> Which one is that? I. The last row in the middle. Ah, uh, yes, yes. And these, <laughs> these are easily my favorite as well. Look at his, look at the little dude's He's eyes. He's just all like, Ooh. Yeah, look how happy he is. And then how like, you know, conversely mad he is. He's so angry. Ma- and then just evil. <laughs> yeah, just connivingly evil. Oh my god. Like, burn! <laughs> yeah, I think uh, the fire friends are the, the fire fumegos. Amigos. Yeah. Uh, I think they are the, the funnest part of the character for me. Yeah. I honestly do. Um, you've actually already mentioned this, but I cannot get over how big this thing is. Yeah, it is massive. Um, he's got two thick legs, and he's got little, like, ankle weights on his ankle. I'm like, watch. He takes them off, and it's just like, Kush! Yeah. Like, really craters in the ground. Right? But, yeah, it, it, it's it's a fun character. It's, it's a different, like, um, a different energy, different air about him. Yeah. Um, versus many of the male characters that we come across that are much more angsty and much more, you know, have uh, an edge about them. Yeah. So. I definitely feel like this is a nice addition to the roster, um, or at least the roster of what we know of already. Yeah. Um, yeah, super cool. <laughs> right on. Actually, sorry, can you go back just a frame? Where are we at? Here? Yeah. I just, I just noticed he actually has, like, the a little flame hair. In the center there. I don't know if that's actually ended up on the... I guess this is final character. It's just a little little detail I noticed, that's all. But I didn't notice it anywhere else except for in this render. Yeah, I wonder if it's actually a thing or not. I'm like, I can I can see what you're saying, but I wonder if it's actually a thing or not, because I don't see it anywhere else. That's what I mean. I, don't, I didn't notice it anywhere else. No. It just caught my eye there. Interesting. Yeah. Well, it could be. Yeah, you don't see it in this final one either. This final splash right either. This is, I was going to like, where is it? Or maybe it's just 
Maybe that's where he gets his glow from, right above his head. <laughs> if you just can't quite see it. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, let us know how fun Milio is to play, or if, you know, he's super overpowered right now, because most new champions that come, or new abilities that come into a game, um, are hard to balance. So yeah. most times they are OP and have to be dialed back a bit. But uh, it doesn't matter. Let us know if he's, he's fun to play right now. And I think that's the most important thing. Because yeah. he's definitely wholesome and definitely it brings a great energy to the game. Definitely. Um, yeah, the art theme was awesome. Um, the voice lines were a lot of fun. Yeah. And the trailer makes him seem like a very, um, very good support character. Especially yeah. with like, I don't know if it's like AoE heals, but... Um, it seems like he's very mobile as a healer and, and you know, able to really change the tide of the of the fight. Yeah, he seemed like he had a really good distance for his abilities. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyways, I think that wraps it up for us. Let us know your favorite things and the things that you dislike about Milio. And other than that, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye. bye.